Canada is thought to possess the third largest oil reserves in the world. It's one thing, however, to have oil, but it's another to transport it to far-off consumers such as China. And this requires the construction of pipelines, such as the controversial Northern Gateway Pipeline, which the Calgary-based Enbridge Corporation is lobbying for. Activists accuse the controversial corporation of endangering the environment and of disrespecting Aboriginal rights. They say that while building elaborate pipelines across cherished Indigenous territories and fragile habitats might be good for Enbridge's shareholders, that for the rest of Canada, it would be beneficial in the long run if the corporation's expansionism was put on hold. It is a right as democratic people to have our voices heard. Now, when you have a government that says, we're going to go this, put this through regardless, omnibus bill after omnibus bill, regardless of what the public thinks, the democracy in Canada is suffering. Critics say that the Harper government is more concerned with corporate rights than indigenous rights. But that does not mean they cannot say no to projects that would harm the land, the water, the culture and the people. The democracy of Canada is being threatened by having this Harper government make statements such as what they're doing and forgetting that the people have voices. There is no guarantee against, against human error and equipment failure. I mean, those are the, the two issues that I don't think anybody can assure people like myself who still live off the ocean and who, who barter and trade for seaweed and fresh food from the, from the ocean with our neighbors. Um, you know, I come from an area where the pipeline will, will, will uh, arrive and load ships with crude oil to take out of the ocean. So, so I'm at double risk from, from the pipeline and, and the, the tanker traffic. The Canadian Constitution recognizes and affirms Aboriginal and treaty rights, and this is supposed to be the supreme law of Canada. Yet, Aboriginal activists say that proposed pipeline deals are predicated on the negation of those very rights, which are supposed to be constitutionally protected. Joshua Blakeney, Press TV, Calgary.